Sean O'Brien 50k. Get my pack out. about five minutes or so till the race starts. <laughs> Jesse! What's up, dude? Do not anyway. ever just follow somebody in front of you. People go the wrong way. Please, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse's okay though, right? <laughs> yeah, you're good. Yeah, I was going to say. So we just clicked past mile one. Shout out Brian. 50k. About 32 and a half miles. Uh, I think it's 67 hundred feet of a vertical gain. So we just starting out nice. Oh, my marathon type effort. So, just coming off a injury with a bone bruise on my femur. So I've been training for a couple weeks. About a 50 mile week and a 40 mile week heading in. That's where we're heading. Up in those beautiful mountains. Just gonna run a nice effort. Nice and steady. Just about to hit mile two. Coming into a little creek crossing. If there's even any water. Barely any water in it.
screw on the backbone trail now. Sorry about mile two. And over on the backbone, all the way to the turnaround point. So we're on the first climb, ran into my Strava friend, friend Myra. Hi. We actually raced together at a &F, the 60K, or maybe you did the 50? 50K. So I was with you quite a bit. <laughs> it's a fun race too. Yeah. It's about the same elevation. I think so, yeah, a little more here maybe. <laughs> it's still hard, well, this, that race is hard. It's hot. Yeah. It's nice today. Yeah, we were, last I saw you, we checked into Redbox pretty much together <laughs> and Jerry kicked you out of there yeah. fast. All right, so we're just getting that sunrise. We are just about mile four. So about two miles up this climb. The ocean is that way, we should get some Really nice ocean views today. If you're familiar with the ba uh, the bulldog race, we're going up the second half of that race to the Corral Canyon Aid Station. So the same aid station as the bulldog up on top, but then we drop off and head uh, west on the backbone. Good morning. You see Myra just up there. She's been running all the hills. Except for some brief hiking, but hopefully I can keep close to her. So there's our Pacific Ocean view. So we're just up on top of the backbone here. So I got one more big climb up to Corral. A little foggy this morning down in Malibu. It's a beautiful ocean. Let me scroll over this way and kind of looking toward up towards uh, Palmdale Thousand Oaks. That's just real dirty. See some real expensive mansions over there. That's just beautiful out. What a morning, like high 50s probably. Just perfect weather. I think the, the highs going to be around 70, 75. Last weekend it was up around 90, so we're looking at about 15 degrees cooler this weekend. Getting up. Still on the top of the bulldog. Getting close to mile six. About a quarter mile outside the Corral Aid Station, heading into it. We got this cool rock structure. See Myra still getting right to the top there. That's really beautiful up in here.
Whew, this race is tough the first seven miles, about 2,500 feet again to this point. You can kind of see the Corral Aid Station right through there. Super cool. That's the Contour Malibu. The ocean's out there. Just can't really see it yet. This is a cool little spot up here. There's an old car. It's like buried up here. There's the front end of it right there. And here's the back end. <laughs> like an old Studebaker or something. Oops. Party gone wrong. Just a picture perfect morning up here. And we're heading right down the rocks into the Corral Aid Station. Which I'm going to bypass the Canaan Aid Station. It's about mile 13, so I have plenty of food and water. Ooh, this stuff's technical. All right, thank you. So we're gonna come into the aid station and then take off down the backbone. Looks like Meyer's doing the same. Hey, Jim. What's up, man? Dude, it's so good to see you. Too, Glad to see you out here. Right, hey guys, number two, thanks. Take care guys, thanks. It's just past my leg. Kind of into more of the technical section between here and I think it's called Latigo. Is our next street crossing with the water, with the water drop there. So I just went by Myra and another guy, another runner. I don't know if you can see him back there yet. But everybody's just kind of easing into the race, seeing if I. Getting down here, a little overgrown section. It's real pretty down in these canyons. Nice and cool right now, too. It's a little bit warm in the sun. Up on top, but then you slip down here. Nice and cool right now. It's gonna be hot on the way back, though. Right, so we're just coming up on mile 10. Just finished a good sized climb. That's looking toward Corral. Just been climbing up out of this valley. Just reaching the top. Got 
Some nice backbone signs up here. Guiding the way. A lot to go. One point, one point four miles. Good morning. Beautiful backbone miles down in here. See where the big fires rolled through. See all the black trees, but things are starting to turn green again. 9.3 heading into Lagos. What's up, dude? My man, I'm good. A little bump for some love. See you on your way back. Yeah, see you a few. Thanks. All right. Next stop is Canaan. A couple miles. Want to do me a favor? What's up? What do you want? Fill this, uh, put this in there and then water okay. it. Okay, we're good. Thanks. Hi. All right. Well, want to water? You just fill that up with water. It'll be cool. More water? You yeah. Want ice? Just, uh, no, it's okay. Just water. Okay. Just water. How you guys doing? How are you doing? It's nice. I mean, it's a beautiful day. Yeah, it's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you're lucky. So only two marathoners, two women so far? Yeah. yeah. So far, yeah. And then, and then. Well, all, all together, they only had like a six yeah. marathoners. Yeah, pretty, yeah most of there's people have 50K. Okay. They have to be here by the end. Oh, okay. Well, what if they get to that first stop and they're like... Uh, can, can you stop this water? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. no. Oh, okay. Maybe just say I'm going. Oh. Yeah. And then they'd have to walk back. I'm sure, I'm sure my friend would just do it. Here, pick it. I'm sure you That's okay. You can just hand it to me. Yeah. I'm going to walk out of here. Yeah, he will Thanks so much. I'm I'll see you in a little bit. Thanks, guys. All right, Nick. Bye. Bye. Oh, man. Look at this Jesse lead 50k smoking. He's coming into Canaan while I'm just leaving. Service between Elite and Delete. <laughs> Total stat. Just click mile 14. See that Canaan aid station is just right back there. We're right at. Uh, 3,500 feet of climbing through 14 miles. I'm just off six hour pace, which is fine. I was thinking I might be able to break that on a course like this if I'm feeling really good, but we're gonna have to negative split it. So let's see, I feel good. Working hard, but not too hard. Still walking all the ups, hiking them, running a bit of the ups and then running the flats and the downs. Heading toward the, about a mile and a half away or so, two miles away from the turnaround. And I love these sections of the backbone, he's nice flowy downhills that lead down to the bottom of the canyons. And 
nice and smooth. Here comes the fifth place male. Good job, man. Way to go. So fifth place is already on the way back. I don't think I have a clue where I'm at. I know I started toward the front quarter. I imagine I'm still there. Maybe somewhere at the top. 20. Let's see how the strategy holds up. I'm injured. So my last long run was Holcomb Valley, 33 mile in uh, July. And I've been out with uh, the bone bruise. So my longest run so far, I think it's 15 miles. Um, sixth. Nice work, dude. Sixth place male. Sixth overall. 50 kid. Nice work, huh? Tenth. Tenth place male right there. Here's what we're doing. Climbing up to the turnaround point. About a half mile out. Just clicked three hours. So just a little past that three hour point I was hoping to Hit the halfway point. But the majority of, or more than half of the climbing is done. So let's see if we can't finish strong. We just hit the turnaround point. We got to the court. It looks like right at 16 and a quarter. And we got, it was 2,800 feet of descent on the way back. So that's about 700 or so less gain on the way uh, back. So that's good. Three hours, seven minutes at the turnaround. So I got some ground to make up. So we'll see how it goes. Nice work. Good job. First female, Myra. You're almost to the turnaround. Thanks. Nice work. You're doing great. Good to see you. You too. See you at the finish. Back in the Canaan. Well, 18.66. Uh, I just spilled up water. How are you doing, man? Here. You need salt or electrolyte drink? Salt pills? You good? You good? Gel? No. Yeah, I got it. Well, I got pretty much everything I need. Okay. Let's see what looks good. You're doing, you're doing hard work. Eat something for us. I know. Thanks so much. Oh. All right, see you guys. Keep it up, man. Thanks, dude. Okay, right around mile 20, 28. I like halfway between Canaan and uh, Latigo. It's starting to feel like an ultra. Climbing a little slower. Still moving up here though. What's up? Hey there. Alright, just coming in the ladder go. Woo! It's getting ultra really quick out here. Yeah. 
Mr. Brent. You want to tell us one quickly? I feel pretty good. Just top it off. Uh, okay, no ice. Sure. Yeah, it's pretty cold out. Yeah. You guys got a trash can? Yeah, right there. Oh, cool. I'm glad the weather's nice because this track. <laughs> well, you know the backbone trail. Beats that. You are familiar with this. Beats the hell out of you every time. You just spend your whole last year out here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so true. Three videos out of it, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm recording right now, buddy. Awesome. Gotta get Brent on the camera. Always. You can do Bulldog too, or no? No, Bulldog. Uh, Sean O'Brien's 50 mile. Okay. Smart enough to not run the 100K this year. Right. And last then last year wasn't the education. And then nine trails. <laughs> Dude, thanks so much. We'll see. You gonna be at the finish? Okay, we'll see you hopefully soon. Leave the ladder go. Alright, so just left the uh, ladder go and Tor Corral, coming up on 22 miles. And now we got this nice canyon breeze right now, which is awesome. So we're 21, 21.29 miles in, four hours. 15 minutes, so hoping to hustle. If my legs will hold up, I got a little bit of tingling going on in my calves. But overall, feeling pretty strong. Just, it's one of the benefits of going out not so fast. Hiking that big uphill to start the race instead of running it pays off later. Hopefully we can run that downhill strong toward the end. Let's see. Ooh, this beautiful backbone. So this climb starts about mile 22. And it's pretty brutal. <laughs> it's super punchy. It's probably only a half mile but it's just really steep at this point of the race. Especially when you haven't done too many long training runs. I'm feeling some like hamstring tightening. So I'm taking some extra salt, a little extra fluids and extra gel. Try and load up for this climb. Super exposed. It's a fun one if you're gonna race this race. It's beautiful up in here. Nice little calf cramp. Alright. Yeah, see you out there. Cool, dude. See you.
So we're just coming out of Corral, 25 and a half miles. This is that beautiful section we came up earlier. This took in a lot of calories. Had two pieces of watermelon. A big chunk of orange. And I took a 250 calorie spring energy speed nut. An extra salt tab. Got some cramps going on. So just trying to get ready for this big downhill section. And now we get to see the ocean. There's the good old Pacific, Malibu Hills. Look at that Malibu State Park on the other side. It's just beautiful. Looking towards Simi Valley area. Yeah, it's just gorgeous out here today. Temperatures are good. Nice cool breeze at times. Ooh, I got about six more miles to go. As far as I can tell, I'm 12th overall. And, uh, they're pretty far ahead of me, so I don't know that I'm gonna catch anybody, but you never know on these ultras. So we're pretty much at the big downhill. 27.84 miles, so almost 28. So we got about Four more to go. Is that beautiful Pacific Ocean? Might be the last time we see it. We're heading back toward Malibu State Park. So we're just ready to go 30 miles. Struggle bus. Calves are cramping. <laughs> Trying to hit this downhill. It's like a two mile downhill kind of fast. Hey. So right here heading back to the single track. A couple miles to the finish. Shout out Brian, 50k baby. Ready to get this thing done. All right, so I just got off the backbone trail. Now we're heading back to that stream crossing. Looks like I'm just gonna be barely over 6.30. Here we go. Finish shoot. So proud. Great job. Oh my goodness. Couldn't take him down, huh? Here you go, you got a mug as well. Nice job. Nice job. Did you film the whole race? I filmed a lot of it. I'm still filming right now. Yeah. Oh. Good job. Good job. Oh, thanks. Chad just said, Kira, your races are always so hard. And I said, that, that's pretty much what everyone says. <laughs> should have been at Lake Sonoma the other well, weekend. No, it's on. Oh, is it on? Yeah, yeah I'm recording. That way, that way oh. you can still get another right. one that was... Chad's so hard. Congratulations. <laughs> Hello. You're going to have to edit that for us. That's all right. It's easy.